Hey everybody, it's Dee Dee. I'm back again with a book tag. Okay, so I've never done one of these and I was tagged by my man Conrad over at Just a Dust Jacket. So if you don't know Dust, Just a Dust, Just a Dust Jacket, um, I will link uh, his uh, channel below. It's really good. He's got uh, great reviews. Um, really funny videos and he's getting into hauls now so it's really good okay so he's tagged me for the day and night tag and I've got the questions here and my trusty cup of tea mm. so first question um, D do you read more in the morning or at night um, I guess I would say it depends on my day. Uh, so I am a English language trainer. So basically I go into companies and I train people to speak uh, business English. And in the afternoons, um, or should I say late afternoons, I also do some tutoring. So I have some adults that I tutor and I have some high school kids, um, middle middle school kids as well that I that I teach and some university level kids. So if I have a day that is quite long and I'm not sure how things are going to go, um, I always have my book with me because I never leave home without my book. And that allows me to be able to read here and there during the day if I have some free time. So... Um, I would say to read like long stretches, mostly at night. Um, I'm a pretty much a night owl. Um, and when I have difficulty sleeping, I just pop out my book and that usually gets me to sleep eventually. So I guess I would say I'm a night reader. Okay. A, are there any books that change the way you thought about things? Uh, I... Ah, yeah, there is one. There's one book that maybe made me think about things differently. There's a book called The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. Um, yeah, that book was amazing. It was powerful. There was a lot of things in it that really um, stirred quite a lot of things up inside of me. And it did make me think a little differently about when you do tests, when you, you know, have to do blood tests and, or they need tissue cells and things like that. Well, I didn't really know, you know, what happens with all that stuff after it's over. Um, it's pretty amazing. Um, it's not all so ethical of, as that. So I would say that made me think about things a little differently. Um... But in general, I don't think I've read anything else that has really like made me really think differently about something other than that one. So I might link that that book below because it's it's wow, oh, wow, you need to read that if you haven't read it. It's amazing. Okay. Why? Why a or not? Mm, not really. I'll just say that like that, not really, meaning not yes, not no, I'm on the fence. Um, I've never really been a big YA fan per se. Um, I'm not against it. It's just not my personal cup of tea. I've not really been the person to, you know, it has not been my go-to um, YA. Um, I don't like some of it. But some of it I do like. I mean, I just finished reading Paper Covers Rock, and I thought that was pretty good. So, yeah, um, I'm probably not the right person to ask that question. I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer it. I'm not against anyone who reads it. I think if you read it, great. I say read what floats your boat. I'm not against anything, um, you know, because I don't particularly care for it. Um, but, yeah, I think you should read what you like and enjoy it and continue to do so. Okay, next question is, A, are there characters that you honestly believe are real? <laughs> mm, yeah, probably. 
Um, I've read some books and I know some people that are a little bit like what I was reading in the books. So I have to go with yes, because I don't read a lot of high fantasy. But um, yeah, they probably are a little real, unfortunately. Uh, in Nobody Touches My Books or I Don't Mind Loaning My Books Out. Okay. Um, no, I'm pretty generous. I don't mind loaning my books out to people. Uh, yeah, uh, I've loaned my books out before to friends and they've always been very good about bringing them back and bringing them back in the same condition that I gave them in. Um, don't have a problem with that. But if I did have an inkling or something, a sign, anything that you might be a little careless and, you know, I won't loan it to you then. I just roll like that. I'm not going to loan it. If I have an inkling that you might not bring it back the way I give it to you, I won't loan it out. But in general, I don't have a problem with that. It's never happened. I think there was only one time that somebody um, didn't bring the book back. It took her a year to bring it back. So that was a little bit. Mm. So I have never loaned a book to her since. But anyway. Uh, the next question. Do you ever smell your books? Of course I do. I'm crazy like you guys. I smell my books. Look, I got one right here. Speaking of YA and smelling books. You guys know this one? The Fault in Our Stars. Yes, the book everybody's been talking about now all since through 2012. And guess what? It stinks. I don't know what's up with this book. But it stinks. It's Penguin. I've got loads of Penguin books. There's something wrong with this book. It really smells. And when I mean it smells, it smells strongly. So it's still sitting on the shelf. I haven't read it yet. But I think when the odor calms down, I might give it a give it a go. So yeah, I do smell my books. All right, next question in. Not everyone loves books. Is this positive or negative thing? Um, I would say in general, it's a positive thing because it would be boring if everybody did the same thing and liked the same things. Um, yeah, the world would go around a lot slower, I think, and it would start to get boring and repetitive. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a positive thing. Although it's true, yes, I like discussing books and I like being around people who discuss books. Um, because I find the conversation interesting, but I do have other things I like to talk about. You know, I like uh, I like talking about politics. I like talking about music. I like talking about movies. I like talking about art. Um, you know, so yeah, it's a positive thing. Um, I, I keep my books in the best condition or maybe not. Which are you? Um, oh, definitely. I keep my books in excellent condition. I mean, you know, you spend all this time. You spend time and money. Money buying the books, time shelving them the way you like to shelve them. Um, yeah, ratty books is not so good. Um Gee, gosh, I have so many books. Or should I say I have too many books? True or false? I plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> You've seen my book hauls. Do I have to say any more? I plead the fifth. H, have you ever spilled or stained your books before with something? And if so, how? Okay. Um, No, I don't think I've ever done anything like spilling. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> one time. It was spring. I was out in my yard and my in my garden and I was reading. It was a beautiful sunny day and there were lots of insects flying around. And one landed on my book and I tried to brush it off gently. Except when I brushed it, it smeared all up the page. Ooh, poor guy. He died for good literature. Anyway, um, so yeah, so this book has like a a black smudge up the middle of the page from this poor insect that, yeah, died for good good literature. So that's the only thing. Oh, yeah, and a couple of times I have cracked the spine, maybe once or twice. Once for sure, which was um, at the beginning of this year, I was reading Cutting for Stone. It was a very big book. 
and I kept opening it and it's, you know, when you get to the middle, somehow you can't help but, you know, not crack the spine and, and it cracked and I really felt badly. But there's nothing I can do about it. it. You know, it is like that sometimes. You've got to open the book to read it. You can't read the book like, like this. Okay. Um, T, toned or untoned while reading? Or in other words, do you read and work out at the same time? I can't do that because um, I swim. Uh, so when I go do exercise, I'm swimming. I swim three or four times a week. Can't read at the same time. Now, I probably could listen to an audiobook, but since I've already tried to listen to an audiobook while driving and while cleaning and did not succeed at any one of them, I gave up on that. So I don't think I'd be very good at listening to an audiobook and swimming either. I would get thoroughly distracted and I would stop swimming, and that would just defeat the purpose of exercise. So, no. I can't read and exercise. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I will tag a few people because I think just a few people haven't done this yet and I'd be interested to see what they have to say. So I'm going to link them probably around here somewhere. Um, Susu Scribe, um, Kim Lachelle, um, Geek May, uh, Shia510, Honey Bun 69 and Fat Shopaholic TV. I'm going to, you know, put your names here and love to tag you guys for the day and night tag. Okay, bye.